Is it possible to model the exterior of Opus Tower by Zahadi Architects in under one hour? Stay until the end to find out. The rules of this modeling challenge are simple. I'll have one hour to model the exterior Opus Tower with Rhino and Grasshopper. I don't have any CAD files for measurements, but I can use the reference images that are publicly available. Let's start. Okay, so initially I created a sub D box here based on my drawing on the bottom. I modified a couple of edges and then we used insert edge to make a couple of more edges on top of it and then delete the faces that we don't need. It's important to use bridge command here to kind of connect those sub D faces. That's the easiest way. And then we're going to slightly modify the edges so everything fits accordingly. Here I'm trying to make some more definition in the middle area and also putting some more edges on the side and at this point i'm trying to see you know what is the best way to optimize the edges i'm using uh add crease option for sub d's to create those sharp edges all around and i'm also adding a couple of uh new edges here and then at this point we have all the sharp edges that we need and now the next step would be to modify that uh, upper area i'm adding a couple of more edges there to make those fillets you know nice and then um, it's now now is the time of the uh, tutorial where I try to really modify this uh, this whole segment and the edge. Uh, it took me so, quite some time to kind of play around with these faces here to try to, to make that you know transition from 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 the edge to the edge. Uh, as you may know, this is uh, something that you know requires a lot of time because if you want to refine this edge, you kind of need to play around with it um, a bit more. So I spend the most time. Uh, actually trying to get those fillets really nice and as you can see here I'm adding edges close to that uh, to that uh, curve because I want to make that those fillets uh, be more precise I'm also comparing the, the images as I'm trying to kind of see what is the, the right position for those uh, for those details uh, and you can see here them that, uh, that I'm actually fixing the the inner areas of the of the meeting point of those vertical and horizontal planes and uh, at, at, at one point I decided to kind of refine them add a little bit more uh, definition to them uh, creating you know this kind of shape is uh, more or less you know uh, like the more time you spend uh, you, you realize that uh, something is not right I'm, I'm, I'm trying to constantly modify it and uh, at this point I think I'm quite happy with with the result that we got and you can see that i have a lot of edges near the corners because that's where the most definition is needed and you can see here that i that i'm also moving some of those vertices because they are kind of intersecting with the with the inner elements uh, at this point uh, we're fixing up the top and we're creating that that shape uh, from the other side of the building and uh, as i'm doing this i'm constantly comparing the, the images of the real project so that uh, it, it it's as as close as possible to the to the real uh, to the real product. You can see here I'm already on the 20 minute mark, so I'm uh, I'm pretty much happy with the final result. I'm modifying some uh, some edges at the end, and uh, I think it took me around 30 minutes or so to finish off this shape, uh, playing with it in um, with sub -Ds in Rhino. I'm also modifying these slide edges and I'm also modifying the the top and uh, once I'm happy once I'm happy with this final result then we're gonna move to uh, to grasshopper and try to really optimize everything there uh, here I'm also modifying the bottom I'm, I'm moving the uh, the bottom edge and uh, I think this is gonna be close to the, to the end of the uh, of the of the sub D part Here I'm modifying the, the top and also this, this bridge. Uh, we're fixing up a little bit those corners. I'm moving the vertices so the topology of the sub D shape is, is uh, all good and well. Uh, the overall topology is, is okay. I think I just have a couple of small so-called mistakes on the edges, but um, this is not gonna be a problem for us because we're gonna move this uh, to grasshopper. And this at this last point, I'm kind of uh, taking all of this like inner shape and I'm and I'm slightly expanding it and and trying to scale it up and see 
you know, compare it with the real uh, product to see if, if that's gonna work. Here, I just used the, the bottom edge and I offset it on the inside and I use this to create um, to create the, the separate elements. I'm using extract surface command here to kind of separate the, the parts because we're gonna need this for grasshopper. And here, I'm just gonna uh, like cut this uh, this inner inner uh, area. I'm gonna here. I'm actually drawing on top of the surface with a curve, uh, and this is the place that I'm gonna split my my plane here. And I split this um, in a couple of elements. Now we're in grasshopper. Before we continue to the grasshopper part, just a quick note. If you're interested in watching the whole video in real time where we explained the whole grasshopper definition in great detail, you can watch it on our Patreon page and at the same time support what we do. You're also going to get access to all of our extended tutorials that are available for Patreons only. The links are in the description. Uh, now we finally uh, went in grasshopper and I started with creating, separating each individual uh, side. So you can see here we have multiple B-reps. Each one is representing a separate face. Uh, the whole idea here is that uh, we want to connect all of these faces so that we don't deal with these sub-D edges, right? So uh, what we're doing here, now we're uh, just taking the, uh, the B-rep edges and we're creating um, surfaces from there. And that way we'll, we're gonna have these kind of clean edges that we'll be using to uh, split them and to create, uh, to separate them by floors. So here I'm using a contour command to, uh, to create all of those divisions based on the on the contour element. We're also gonna take out the first and the last one. And at this point, we have those uh, those divisions done. Based on the contours, we divided uh, all of those elements. Uh, now we're gonna go and do the same thing for the for the inner part. So you can see here that uh, we're now using uh, B-Rip plane. We're also using uh, offset curve to uh, kind of give the the proper uh, the proper extrusion for the for the floor floor plates. Once we have the floor plates, uh, we're gonna move on. And now uh, the whole idea behind this is that uh, we need to have intersected planes, which will be uh, uh, intersected with those uh, surfaces that we did. You can see on the bottom here, we're creating uh, the divisions, uh, both horizontal and vertical divisions. So first, we want to uh, divide uh, to create those kind of mullions uh, on the top. That's why we're using those uh, planes. Now you can see that we're intersecting them and you can see how, how we have four different types of data. We're going to merge uh, two of them and we're going to merge the second uh, part uh, after that as well. And here I did we're creating the mullions. We're um, so separating each single plane and we're doing a, a simple offset. Uh, this will give us the thickness for our emollients. And first thing uh, is that we're going to do this uh, on the outside shell of the building. So here you can see that uh, we gave a little bit of thickness to those emollients and uh, we're going to implement the same technique on the on the other sides. Uh, we're going to do this um, a couple of times, four times for each side. And uh, after that, we're going to move on. We're going to uh, try to, uh, to, do, to do the exact same thing on the inside of the on the project. You can see that I'm already here at 54 minutes, so it's like quite quite close to the one hour. Uh, but you know, uh, at, at this point, I'm just trying to to get all of this on time. Uh, we're doing the same kind of procedure. We're, we're taking the planes, we're cutting uh, both horizontal planes and vertical planes to get a uh, similar type of, of divisions of the mullions. And then uh, at the end, we're gonna simply create the the same kind of thickness that we have uh, on the outside. Uh, right now, I'm I'm really in a hurry here, so uh, I think I, I realized here that I, I'm not gonna get on time. So uh, at the end, uh, this is this is how this turned out to be. So I just crossed the one hour mark, and um, but it was very close. So. Uh, here uh, at this point, I'm just finalizing the, the definition. I'm creating the, the shapes and this is going to be uh, like the final result. At the end, I'm just gonna put some pipes for the mullions and uh, this is gonna be our uh, final final result. So uh, as you can see, uh, I managed to do it in one hour and two minutes. As you can see, I was just around two minutes late to finish the project on time. Of course, this only involved the outer shell of the facade of this building without the inner structure. 
here you can take a look at some of the final renders of the building and how it turned out. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about this type of one hour type uh, challenge videos. Maybe include some of your own suggestions uh, as well. And if the feedback is, is positive, we'll make sure to do more of these uh, in the future. For those of you who are new to the channel and who are interested in having a structured a learning approach to Rhino and Grasshopper for architecture, check out the first link in the description for more details. Mm -hmm.